day everyone. Today, I am going to discuss the definition of authentic performance task. Authentic performance task requires students to use skills, strategies, and knowledge while completing a real-world task that an adult would need to perform in his personal or professional life. It requires students to explain, apply, or synthesize their knowledge it is to show true understanding through a multiple step process or project. The project is a quality piece that presents justifiable information or answers that can be used for further learning, investigation, or research. It is outlined with clear task objectives and has a rubric and other document that guides the completion of work and is used for the final evaluation of the project. And that would be all for my report in the definition of authentic performance task. Thank you. Now that we are done defining authentic performance task, let us move on to the GRASPS model. GRASPS is a model advocated by John Widges and Jay Tigg to guide teachers in designing authentic performance-based assessment. It is a form of assessment that engages learners to employ their thinking skills and that demonstrate application of essential knowledge, conceptual understanding, and skills acquired throughout the unit learning. Using the GRASPS model as a guide in developing a performance task is beneficial not only to the teachers but also to the students because 1. It engages the students through a conceptual learning, which promotes an intellectual quality of all students through providing a deep and connected learning experience. Two, it also provides simulations of real-world situations or challenges that adults might encounter. Doing a realistic conceptualized activity may help the students in the future because it prepares them to the different situations that they might encounter in their adulthood. It also creates opportunities for the students to practice transfer of learning. As mentioned earlier, the student it helps the students for the future if the activity is conceptualized from reality. And with that, they can apply to the real-world situations what they have learned from the four corners of the classroom. Four, it fosters curiosity and building experience of the students as well as developing their project management skills because they are able to plan and conceptualize the flow and outcome of the project and or activity. Now that I am done introducing the GRASP model, let us now come into the GRASP model itself. Now, GRASP is an acronym to its six different parts, namely goal, role, audience, situation, products, and standards. Now, what is goal? Goal is what states or establishes the issue or problem to be solved. The teacher starts out by presenting the goal of the project because the goal provides information or vision of the outcome of the learning experience and, the, and also the con contextualized purpose of the experience and product creation. Here are some guide questions to help determine what is your activity's goal. First, you need to know what is your task. In the goal, it is the teacher's duty for the students to have a clear understanding of what the task is and what is it all about. Second, you need to know what is your goal. The teacher should also be able to establish the goal of the project or the activity that the students are doing. Third, you need to know what are the problems or challenges. It is also a must for the students to have a thorough understanding of what are the challenges or problems they need to solve in order to accomplish the task. Fourth, you need to know what are the obstacles needed to be overcome. 
It is important that the students understand what challenges are present in order for them to successfully solve the problem or the challenge. Now, it is apparent that establishing the goal is important so that the students are guided all throughout the project and activity that they are doing. It is also a way for them to not be misled and to achieve the desired outcome. It is also the best way for you as a teacher to engage your, te your students by conceptualizing the learning experience. This is Aris Andestao Supilana from Bisad 3A English. Thank you for listening. Keep safe and God bless. Constructing an assignment based on the given guidelines by the previous reporters can be tricky. But Wiggins and McTinge's GRASPS model is an excellent starting point in creating an authentic assessment. The role in the GRASPS model explains whose students are in the scenario and what they are being asked to do. It is also giving the students the role that they might be taking in a familiar real-life situation. Let's say for example, a grade 12 student from Sorsogon National High School is given a task to do his personal essay. So the role of the child in this situation is being a grade 12 student or as a grade 12 student. Because if you're going to look back at the meaning of the role in GRASP's model, role is who are the students that is included in the scenario and what they're being asked to do. So that's it for my discussion for today. Again, I am Gwyneth Didalyosa from Bisad English 3A. Thank you. Alright. Thank you, Ms. Dalyosa, for discussing the third component of the acronym CRASP, which is the role. Now, allow me to introduce to you the third component from the acronym CRASP, which is the audience. Audience. These are the individuals who are interested in the findings of the products that have been created by the role por portrayer. Also, Audience will make a decision based upon the products and presentation created by the individuals assuming the role within the performance task. Now, to easily detect who the audience really are, I'll give you three templates to identify them. Number one is your clients are blank. Number two is your target audience are blank. And lastly, number three is you need to convince blank. Now those three blanks are needed to be filled by the names of your target audiences. So that's it. I am Janine De Delaja from Bisad 3A English. I hope you learned something from me. Thank you for listening. God bless. Good day everyone, I'm Jovelina Pino beside English 3A. As of the GRASP model, the third acronym situation is to be tackled in this video. It provides the context of the situation and any additional factors that could impede or affect the resolution of the problem. It provides the contextual background of the task. Students will learn about the real-world application of the performance task. The situation explains what is the task all about, what is the matter or the problem that is to be assessed by the students during the task. In creating the task, this is the question that the teacher should answer under situation. What is the situation and why does it matter to students to create the product? As for the student, these are the questions that are to be answered. What is the scenario? How do I connect this to the real world situation? What is the role of intercultural communication in this situation? Here, students analyze the situation encountered and consider intellectual communication. That's all for situation. Thank you so much. Thank you, Jovelin. Again, good day. 
I am Crystal Gracia Nilio of Beside English 3A, here to report to you another component of the GRASP assessment model, which is the performance or product and purpose. So what is this performance product purpose? In a simpler definition, product performance and purpose is a component in which it clearly states that um, educators should paint a clear vision of the what and why of the child's performance. Why? Because in order to create a product and solve a problem efficiently, students first need to clarify the task, identify their strengths and weaknesses, and um, set an appropriate goals, and of course, chunk the big task into subtopics within the timeline. So you see, through this model, the perpetuators wanted to help the educators establish the following goals. First, teachers should engage students through contextualized learning. Second, provide simulations of real-world situations or challenges that adults may encounter. Third, create opportunities for students to practice transfer of learning. Fourth, foster curiosity and building experiences of students. And last, develop project management skills of students. Here are some guide questions that you can use in crafting a performance task using the GRASP model. That would be all for my report. Now, let's listen to the next reporter. Alright, let's come now to the last role of GRASPs, which is the standard for criteria and success are commonly known as expectation, level of quality, or attainment. Thus, it dictates the standards that must be met and how the work will be judged by the assumed audience. Now, the standards for criteria of success have indicators which provide students with a clear picture of success, identify specific standards for success, issues, rubrics to the students, or develop them with the students. In order to develop a performance task, we need to be guided or we need to follow the criteria for standards. And I have an example here. For for example, your performance needs to, your work will be judged by, your product must meet the following standards, and the last one, a result will. Now, these are the criteria or the guidelines we need to follow to develop a performance task. Now, the standards are given to inform students how their work will be assessed by the assumed audience, and it will serve as their guide to produce and create quality outputs, creates opportunities, and develops semantic ignition of the students. That's it. I hope you gained something from me. Thank you and God bless.